Hello, Collective, and welcome to Blood Saji Tarot. My name is Robin, and Collective, today we are going to be doing your love reading. So we're just going to see what's coming towards you in love, what you need to know, what messages you need to receive. So let's talk about you and love. So Spirit Guides, the Collective, those drawn to this reading, those who need this reading. What's going on in love? What do you want to say? What messages do you want to pass along? Please, and thank you. Ah, that's fantastic. True love. So this is the romance of a lifetime. Well, I tell you something, we're doing a love reading. That's a really good card to come out <laughs> when you're a reader and like the red flag comes out. It's like, oh, OK, so that's good. So let's talk about this true love for the collective. What do you want to say, Spirit Guides? What you want to say? And for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. So if you want one, the link is in the description box below. OK, so we have the Six of Swords in reverse. We have the Nine of Swords, the Page of Cups in reverse, sorry, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Wands. The Three of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. What else we got here? We need two more, please. <laughs> Thank you. So the Knight of Cups and then the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Look at that. The Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. And then the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so definitely true love. Like, definitely a lot of love. Definitely, whoa justice um if you're not married you could be getting married or this is involving a married couple we shall find out we shall find out or just a couple in a long-term committed partnership but um yeah if you're not married this person wants to get married <laughs> um this is someone who's in a partnership here but with the six of swords in reverse and the nine of swords it tells me uh the partnership's in a little bit of um well disarray there's a little bit of an issue here there's an obstacle there's a problem what is it what's going on what's happening what's what's uh oh somebody act impulsive oh the chariot in reverse and the two of wands somebody acted impulsively without thinking and it caused some problems and someone might have spoken out of term or someone might have just done something stupid but someone did some somebody did something very impulsive and it caused a conflict and a per and a problem they didn't think before they did it not even close uh, and the Knight of Wands is a little bit of an, ex yeah, so, yeah, so somebody was explosive or reaction or, or impulsive, um, it would cause, caused a riff, but um, it caused one person to pull back and one person to be really upset, one person to constantly think and one person to be like, oh my God, how can I fix this? Like, they know what they did, you know what I mean? Like, it was just an impulsive thing, it was just something, they're very well aware that they did something stupid. Um, and they've learned, trust me when I tell you this. They learned their lesson. So if it's you, that's the one that did something stupid. You learned your lesson. But if it was something that did it to you and not when I say something stupid, I just mean something impulsive, something reckless. Um, you know, they got mad and said something or they got drunk or something like that. Right. And they just they they did something without thinking. Um, and it's completely. Um, well, let's put you guys in this energy. But coming forward here, we have the four of wands with the nine of cups. So both of these couples are deeply in love. There is no doubt. That there is love here look at the way that they're looking at each other right they look at each other like there's no one else in the room and with justice both people want things to equal out they want things to be fair i feel like this is your energy waiting or somebody's waiting trying to reach out they want to reach out they're trying to find the right time to reach out which i do feel here is in the near future <laughs> um what do you want to say about this knight of cups here that's it the king of, ooh, ooh, they were selfish. That's the person reaching out is going to come forward and say, very honest, very straightforward. Like I said, they know that they screwed up. They're very well aware of that. <laughs> um, which again, if it's you or the other person, like the person who did it, they're very well aware. They know and they're mad at themselves um, and they're coming to make things right. With this Knight of Cups, they want to fix this. They want to get over the rockiness and bring you guys into smoother waters. They know they were selfish. They want to put the past behind them. They want to remove this blockage. They don't want to be without you. The Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles both in reverse. So they don't want to, they want to fix this. What do you want to say about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Or you don't want to. Whoever it is that screwed up is the one that's reaching out. I can't tell the energy, which means that it's going to be going both ways for the people watching whenever that happens. You just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Cups. Um, woo, nine, nine, nine. Okay, so I had that I had that come up a while back. I think 999 is like extreme abundance, but it's also the end of the cycle. Um, look up that angel number, 999. Maybe there's a message for you if you care to or if you're seeing nines. But 
This is about getting over the stress, but you both make each other happy, but can you get over what happened? Can it, is it going to happen again? Is it hopeless? Is it, can it be fixed? Those are the questions I feel like you're, you're at the person. You're, yeah. Can it be healed? All right, let's get a few Oracle messages and we'll find out because there's a star in reverse again. Can it be healed? I tell you the person who screwed up, they want to fix this, but let's find out. What do you need to surrender to spirit guides? What does the collective need to surrender to when it comes to this partnership here? The wonder and awe. So open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all life. This attitude will keep you connected with the ecstasy and the flow. All right, current connection. Can't read connection. Soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. <laughs> Trust in the process. So we feel them coming back here. Oh, we know they're coming back. All right, what's your energy oracle message? We'll get, or sorry, what's your hidden truth? We'll get your potential outcome. Don't worry. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we will. The hidden truth here. Damn, that word flew. The timing just wasn't right for us. That's because you'd be acting a fool. You'd be acting a fool. Hold on. Let me get this one. Don't react when people mention you. So they're still acting a fool. They don't want anyone to know how they feel. Um, okay, I don't know why I keep saying that. Okay, energy oracle message. What do you want to say to the collective? Please and thank you. Community in reverse. Nope. All right, just the one. So when one comes out of the deck, the message is in the book. Let's get it, shall we? One moment, please. And thank you. Okay. This card indicates feeling is a feeling of isolation and perhaps loneliness. There may have been a recent disconnect or a dissolution of some wider partnership. This may result in feelings of loss and grief, but take heart. If it is often the case that as you shift your energy into a higher vibration, you find that you no longer resonate with old acquaintances the way you used to. If that's the case, it might be time to move on to more resonant associations. Let yourself network in ways to reflect your higher intentions. Meditation groups, classes, book clubs, and alike are all places that you can meet new people that are in closer harmony to you. You needn't allow your isolation to continue. It may take some conscious effort on your part, but now is the time to reconnect, network, and gain the sense of support that you are looking for. All right, so that's definitely a message for somebody. Um, might not have been a message for everybody. <laughs> so let's get your let go. What do you need to let go of? Reach, stretch, breathe, and believe. What can you let go of to feel maximum joy? All right, let's get your potential outcome. So when I say potential, I say potential because there's always free will. You're going to make the choices you're going to make. And when I say outcome, it's where are you in a month? How are you doing? Because this person's coming in. They want to fix things. They want to romance you. They want to reconnect. But what do you do? Or if it's you're the one that we're going to reconnect, let's see what they do. But let's just see where you are in a month. Spirit guides, what you want to say? Oh, I couldn't see that. So we're just going to have to wait a moment. The Eight of Swords. Okay, hold on. Oh. So the Devil in Reverse, the Eight of Swords, the Page of Swords in Reverse, the Ten of Wands in Reverse, Judgment in Reverse. On the bottom. The page of wands. Well, well, well. This is interesting. I feel like um, this is like totally contrasting energy. The devil in reverse with the eight of swords. So you're thinking a lot about the past. You're you're because look how she's leaning back. You're thinking a lot about the past. You have not been able to release it. Um, you haven't been able to move on or move past what happened. Um, the page of swords in reverse. Tells me that's a little bit of a, a blockage, like a blockage in communication, a blockage in being able to move forward. But then we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, which is about removing the, the burdens, removing the problems. And the judgment in reverse is about being realistic with this person. <laughs> so I feel like you've gone through this whole emotional thing in the last month. Well, well, that's weird. But in the next month, maybe for some of you, this has already happened. <laughs> but I'm going to read that as the next month. Um, of trying to release this you're trying to get through the blockages you do you as you're working through this with this person you are able to release them because you're realistic i feel like you're realistic with yourself and realistic with them the page of wands tells me though you haven't fully committed to this you're not engaging in a partnership you know everything is in you know butterflies and rainbows and everybody shits bubbles 
um, but you're talking, you're flirting, you're reconnecting. It's like a young kind of love energy again as you're moving past the past, as you're healing from it, as you're letting it go, the four pentacles there. So you're working on this, you're building through this, and you're kind of starting to get that page of wands, always like that flirty, like that new flirtiness in a relationship kind of thing. It's like you're kind of going to go back to the honeymoon phase as you work through this, because some couples can work through this and separate, but some couples can work through this and become str stronger in bonds. And I feel like that's what you're becoming is you're bonding stronger for this obstacle that you went through. And in a month, you're just working on this, um, but letting each other know that you want to work on this, which is what's important. Um, so that's what I have for you. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. I hope it benefited you. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate the support. It helps my channel to grow. So thank you. Let's get you your final message here to close this off. The perfect man of old looked after himself before looking to help others. Take some time to be outside this evening. Breathe in the fresh air and breathe out the stresses of the day. Watch the sunset or reflect on the vastness of the universe as you stargaze. Enjoy Mother Nature and all she has to offer. That's what I have for you. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.